In this video, we will going to see how we can construct an AND gate using diodes. Welcome to Physics Learning. In order to construct an AND gate using diodes, we need one breath board, we need two diodes, we need one 1 kilo ohm resistance, we need one multimeter or voltmeter, we need 5 volt power supply. To begin with, let's try to construct this circuit. To construct this circuit, we just need to connect the diode. We need to keep in mind that N side should be facing the input and P sides are connected together. Let's connect the P side using a wire. Now connect the resistance. Resistance is connected from P sides of the diode to the high voltage supply. Okay, so let's connect it. And to connect it with the high power supply, we are just keeping the one end of resistance in the outside. Now connect the power supply. So the positive terminal is connected in the upside of the board, and uh, ground terminal is connected to the downside of the board. Okay, now let's connect the now let's connect the multimeter. So the red sides of the red end of the multimeter connected to the diode and black end connected to the ground. Now let's connect the both end A and B to the low voltage that is 0, 0 volt. Switch on the power supply and look at the output reading. When the input voltage A and B is 0, in that case output voltage is 0 0.66 volt. Okay, so to verify the AND gate, we just need to make this table. Input voltage is 0, 0 and output voltage is 6, 6. How we are getting this 0 0.66 voltage? This is the voltage drop across the diode. Now, now just make the B side to the high. Now just connect the B side to high input end. Then A is 0, B is 5.3 because our power supply voltage is 5.3. In that case also output voltage is 0 0.68. Now make B as 0 volt and A as high volt that is 5.3 volt. Okay. In that scenario look at the output voltage. Output voltage is again approximately 0. So 5.3 0 and voltage is 0 0.68. Now make both input high, okay? That is connect both input to the 5 volt supply. So A is, so A is 5.3, B is 5.3 and output is also 5.3. This is the data for input and output voltage for an AND gate which we have constructed. If you look at this data carefully and if we go by definition that is if we can define 0 to 0.8 volt as 0 state and 3 volt to higher voltage as 1 state then just use this definition and substitute 1 and 0 state accordingly in the voltages right. If you use that definition, you will get this truth table 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. This is exactly the truth table for an AND gate. That means we can be sure that whatever the circuit we have constructed is the circuit for an AND gate. Let me try to explain the circuit. Okay. This is the circuit diagram for an AND gate which we have constructed. Okay, here V voltage is the high voltage. Okay, that is 5.3 volt which we are using in this experiment. When both A and B are in zero state, that is if you apply zero volt across both A and B, 
then both diodes are in the forward bias condition as a result they will conduct okay once they will conduct we will get the voltage drop across diode as output voltage okay now we know when the diode is in the conducting state there is certain drop which we call forward bias breakdown voltage which is approximately 0.6 to 0.7 volt when either of A or B is in low state, that means corresponding diode is in the forward bias condition and other diode is in the reverse bias condition. In this scenario, only the diode which is in the forward bias condition will conduct and as a result we will get output voltage low that is voltage drop across the conducting diode. Okay. In the case when both diode are connected to high voltage, in that scenario, both diode will not conduct. Since both diode is in off condition, there is no flow of current through the resistance. In that scenario, output voltage is equal to the supply voltage. Okay. Thus, output voltage will be high when the inputs A and B are high. Hope this explanation is clear to you. See you in the next video with some other topic. Till then, thank you.